Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is Git Components by Tag. The Git Components by Tag, which you can see here, and if we run our example, we're going to have no output. Our node takes in an actor, takes in a filter of a component class, in this case, scene component and then takes in a tag. There is only one node. It's always a component. So we're always going to return back an array, even if there's only one object. And it's going to be of the type that we're filtering out. In this case, scene component, scene component. If I change this to static mesh and compile, my output type is going to be static mesh. Now, by default, it comes like this, and it's not really going to give you anything. We have no tag we're searching for. Component tags are different than actor tags even though we're targeting the actor. Component tags are tags under the component tag section, under the tag section, inside of the components, so the items that make up our blueprints, not the actual full actor itself. If we wanted to look at our actor itself, we can find tags for the actor itself, if I can remember where the hell is hiding at. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Right here, actor tags, these are actor tags. We care about the component tags itself on each item. So you can see our component tags here. Now you'll notice something here. I have an actual component called none, and I have a component tag called test object. And my roundy thing, I have a component tag called round. Well, our tag here is none. None is our default, and none actually doesn't work as a valid tag. We could change it to like none one, and if we change our tag type to none one, compile and run, we should get a result of a static mesh component with a tag of none one. However, this is a scene component with a tag of none one, so it won't work. We'd have to do something like scene component, compile, save, and play, and now we get the result default scene root. It looked through the actor, grabbed all of the components, looked for anything that matched the scene component type, which would be both of these, Look for anything with the tag none one, which is going to be this one, and then it returned back the results. We could, for example, make a new tag in here. Let's do tag to make this quicker. And we'll add a new tag called stuff. And we'll add the same thing over here to this one. And we'll go ahead and make sure scene component. We'll look for stuff tag. We will compile and save and run this. And we're going to get both results. Roundy thing and default scene root because they are both of a class scene root. Even though this is a static mesh, it still has a scene component as one of its parent classes. And they both have the tag stuff. That's it. That is your git components by tag node. It's useful if you are tagging items at creation or design time and you want to be able to search for those results. Maybe you have certain things like round or square or tagged maybe based on left or right or positional and you want to be able to grab those components based on the tag type and the class type. 